Maryland wants to pass a plan to reduce the number of gas powered cars over the next 12 years. If regulations are approved, it would substantially help reduce the gas emissions in the state. Reporter Rachel Costa has more from Silver Spring, Maryland. Right now, most of the cars you see driving by take gas. Some Maryland officials hope that you'll start seeing more and more electric cars on state roads. But some say while it's good in theory, it might be difficult logistically. Governor Wes Moore announced his plan to ban the sale of new gas power cars by 2035, saying, we need to make sure that this clean car revolution leaves no one behind. Electric cars are the future, and I want to make sure anyone and everyone can and will be a part of that future. Maryland is one of the 17 states that agreed to follow the emission standards first started by California. It's that's an annual zero emission vehicle and plug-in hybrid vehicle sales requirements that aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. According to Dr. Mohammed, for such regulations to work, it would require more charging stations and a large investment in renewable energy sources to maintain proper energy distribution. And the issue that is associated with electrified transportation, if you don't have a long-term plan or a decision, is that they're gonna create a strain on the distribution system. And while Florida is now one of the states currently following what California and others want to do, he said it is viable if utility companies come together with programs to help people move to electrification and use a renewable energy business portfolio. While some officials have called it a radical environmental policy, if the regulations are approved, it will go into effect in September to start phasing out the sales of gas-powered cars. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Rachel Costa from Maryland.